Abracadabra, bring all the chocolate bunnies to me. I am Atelia and I want all the bunnies in the square. We must take this event much harder and break her spell. I thought we made it cheap proof. Uh, but I guess we were wrong. Come on, let's increase the bunny mounts from 10 to 30. So that will be 300,000 diamonds. Perfect, meet me at sundown in the hub. We shall make the deal. No fair, a duplicate. At least you got 300 diamonds. My, you look so fun even when you're in aggression. Alandra, thank you for the kind compliment. But this is not fair. 300 diamonds are nothing. Forget about it. So, I cannot wait for the light healer you're getting me. <gasps> Whoa, are you okay? Wait, are you heathen? Yes, I am. Alandra, this is the maiden who I'm getting your halo from. Yes, Dean. Meet me later. I have to go now. And remember to bring the payment. Time for... What? Where's my halo? Okay, calm down, heathen. There's probably an explanation on to why this is happening. I paid 500,000 diamonds for my halo. It's okay, it's okay, it's totally okay. <laughs> I kept my halo in the hotel safe. It's not there anymore. Me too, I demand my halo back. I'm leaving this hotel. The fountain is playing tricks on us. I need my diamonds back. Yeah. I'm so sorry, Alondra. It's okay, I was just really excited. Detective Riley Gilmore and Jay Hillsborough, yes? I've invited you two to help investigate the sudden disappearance of all the halos in all the realms. Are you sure you can tackle this? Relax, your highness. This would become an apocalypse if we weren't here to solve this. Yes, thank you, Detective Gilmore. I perhaps wonder how the realms would turn out without halos in the end. It would be a horrible sight, trust me. Well, I'm glad you both are here to stop that. Well, here's all the information I can give you. So, the halos went missing yesterday morning. Yes, around half past ten. There were a lot of phone calls from Sunset Island pageant contestants around eleven. The Valentine halos they all wore for the pageants went missing. So, the halos went missing around 11. Yes, also calls and reports from the rest of the realms were made a few hours after. Fantasia Hotel, half past 11. Earth, 12 p.m. Divin it's fine, Queen. We have a good idea on what to do next. Do you have any cases before this? There were a few cases on April 12th with missing halos. Thank you, I think we know where to go. Look, the cases that were filed before the big disappearance all have something in common. What do you mean? The halos were never found. And most of them went missing on April 12th. 25 halos were reported missing. And guess what? All of them were owned by Moonlight Square residents. The shopping realm with a lot of boutiques. So, the halos were stolen by someone who lives in Moonlight Square? The same person who stole all the halos also stole 25 earlier? Or maybe a group of people. They have to be connected. I think we have to ask the victims first, because that would clear a lot. To Moonlight Square. We have to fix this. Yeah, but don't you think they'll forget about the halos eventually and, you know, move on? Without the halos, they can start to appreciate the wonderful nature in this place. You have a point, but the queen ordered that we need to put an end to this. The economy is failing and we need to stop it. Oh look, isn't that Crystal Fluorite? Also famously known as Matt. Yes, he reported that his Valentine's halo went missing around April 12th. Yes, and he's with Lotus. Lotus lost his lucky halo on the exact day. We found a lead. Hello there, I am Riley Glymore, a detective from DBD. 
Davinia Police Department for short. This is my partner Jaya. We were told that both of your halos went missing on April 12th? Yes, sadly they did. I was just enjoying the parade with my friends that night, and in a matter of seconds, my halo disappeared. It was shocking. I was only just wearing the halo, and all of a sudden, it vanished. How could the halo vanish? I expected it was someone who pocketed it along with lotuses. True. The square was really crowded that night, as Matt wanted to watch the parade. So, it just vanished? Yes. It felt as though the sparkles and sheen slowly faded away, and eventually, the entire halo was gone. Thank you. We'll get back to you later. So what next? They both said that their halos lost their shine when it disappeared. If someone normally stole halos, then it wouldn't just fade away. It would disappear. Oh, you have a point. So, you think the halos were stolen in a different way? Not a different way. A different object was used to steal them. <gasps> Look at this. What? It's just a chocolate bunny from Easter. When did the 25 halos disappear? April 12th. Yeah, and Easter is on April 12th. Wait, so you think... Remember how we had a huge chocolate bunny hunt which started on April 12th and people traveled from all the realms to Moonlight Square to hunt for bunnies? And remember how there was this one pixie who used to spell to attract bunnies and was camping on the mounds of the grass? Yes. The spell was broken, but what if some parts of the spell were altered to make a halo attracting magnet? I know this may seem crazy or far-fetched, but normal halo thefts don't come with fading sparkles. There is definitely magic at play here. Jaya, that's a good explanation. You might as well be right. But we don't know if the cases are linked. Yes, both Matt and Lotus's halos faded away at the parade. But what about all the other halos? The halos that all vanquished together at once. That's why we have to ask the other victims. The pageant contestants, the fantasy giveaway residents, and the Divian Park Shores. Also Earth. Oh, this is going to take forever. Cybernova interviews haloless victims? Cybernova as in news reporter Cybernova? It says here the video is due to air tomorrow. She interviewed a lot of victims yesterday. Maybe we can ask her at her headquarters instead of waiting for tomorrow. Look, it even says here, Halo collectors express their gloom. And what does Leah Ash have to say about this? This is perfect, Jaya! Instead of going to each victim, we can just watch the report. Let's go to Cybernova's headquarters. Come on! The problem is, Cybernova's headquarters are at the Intergalactic Trading Hub. Oh, and the crowds of upset citizens. I mean, it's not that bad. Who cares? I need my diamonds back. We want justice. This isn't fair. I need my diamonds back. You stole my halo. We want justice. Miss Cybernova? Hello, humans. What brings you here? Miss, you interviewed a few Halo victims from yesterday, didn't you? I sure did. What does that matter to you, though? We're detectives assigned by Queen Knight Barbie herself to solve this entire Halo disappearance case. Is it possible for us to look at the recording that's supposed to air tomorrow? Of course, dears. Breaking news! Halos are missing! The economy is crashing significantly. Lots of angry Halo owners are out of control. Sunset Island contestants are devastated. Now time for some words from Leah Ashy, one of the victims. Oh, I was working the boutique as usual, ordering stocks of my brand new bubblegum perfume release. It was a fairly normal day, and after an hour or so, I saw a shine from my Valentine's halo fading away. The entire thing vanished after a few minutes. I couldn't do anything to stop it. It just faded away. Thank you so much for your help, Miss Iver. No problem at all. Glad I could help. I wish you all the best. The cases are linked and definitely done by the same person. But how? Are you sure they altered the bunny attracting spell to make a halo magnet? I know a very good scientist who studies complex magic. She lives in the outskirts of Earth. She will tell us if a halo magnet is possible and if it's the only explanation to this entire mess. Sounds great. Let's go.
Oh, those halos are definitely stolen with magic. Fading sparkles are not something that happens when you normally pocket a halo, and your halo magnet theory might as well be the reason how. A halo magnet can be created using an attraction spell, the same thing Atelia used when attracting the bunnies. If she altered it to be stronger, then it can attract halos. I'm certain she used it. But who would have taken them? The same pixie who stole all the halos, I believe. Why don't you two find Atelia? I know someone who knows where she lives. Wait, so this small young pixie has every single halo? I've studied magic almost my entire life. The spell Atelia used is an earth spell, powered by greed. The more she wants, the more she gets. The halo magnet can only be something made out of crystal. If you see her holding anything that's crystal, it's probably the magnet. You both better find her soon. Do you have any idea where she might live? You better ask the landscape architect, B. She knows where Atelia lives because I've seen them around Divinia Park. And B knows a lot about the park because she designed the lovely gardens. Thank you so much for your help. Beth gave us B's contact. Let's give her a call. Hello, the one you're looking for is here. So Beth told me about Athelia, and with all the evidence, I'm certain she's the one who took all the halos. In fact, I spotted her in the Easter parade at Moonlight Square, hiding behind a few bushes. She was holding a crystal ball. Crystal ball? That was the magnet. Miss, Miss B, do you have any idea as to where she can be now? I haven't seen her around here in a while. She might be around the fountain. There's usually a crowd of people there. Athelia is a small pixel with green eyes and brown hair. She wears a red rose dress. I think you can find her. Stop right there! Oh my gosh, DPD detectives? Did you finally figure out who took all your precious halos? Yes, you need to come with us. The only way we can stop her is by eliminating her greed for halos. We need to talk to her. Look, please don't be- Okay, fine. I did take the halos. I like them, okay? Also, I had to pay my bills. I only took 50. And you know, this thing sells like hotcakes. Before you take me away or arrest me, I just want to say that I'll stop this and reform into a good pure pixie. Wait, 50? Honey, no. Stop it with the act. We all know that you stole all the halos. Show the place where you hid them now or I will call the queen. Wait, what? No, this can't be. You're lying. No. She's telling the truth. In fact, I was the one who took all your precious halos. Not yours. They're technically mine. I mean no harm. I'm the goddess of this fountain, and there's always a reason for my doings. Let me explain. You see, I was once acknowledged, adored. People visited the fountain for peace. I gave them halos in return for their kindness. Halos were symbols of my love. Queen Barbie and I work very hard to create each one. They were given to spread peace, harmony, and give a sense of rarity. We never expected that it would all go this way. All of you come here now only for winning these things. You fight, you scam, and you steal. All for these halos once known as a symbol of love are now being used as a trophy to brag about? What went wrong? The chaos these halos have caused is heartbreaking. The trading system, economy, everything. Why are you all doing this? Why can't you be happy with what you have instead of taking away from others? <sighs> I wanted to stop this once and for all. The chaos, the value charts, and the scams. So I stopped giving out halos. And to pit a cherry on top of the icing, I used all my magic to erase every halo that exists. I should have told Queen Barbie my plan, but I didn't. I think I've caused enough drama and chaos. You all have to promise me that you will be happy with what you have. Do trustworthy trades and don't get greedy over these objects. I want them to be symbols of my love again. I'm going to make a change, but I need everyone to work together and bring these realms to peace again. Will you help me? Uh, give us the halo. I cannot do it. Give us the halo. I can't do it. I don't want to. No. I won't unless you all work this out. Okay, fine. We will try. That's it. We will try our best. Okay, fine. <laughs>